Greetings folks. Banggood have very kindly sent me a Speedy B F405 wing board and a Speedy B F405 wing mini board. I have done videos on them before and uh, I'll put links to all of those setup videos, uh, how to connect videos and all those sorts of things in the description. What I'm going to do with these boards, or at least the, the wing board, the big wing board, I'm going to put it on the top RC blazer. You can see I have the sporty wing um, mounted on there. Uh, I had to put my own servos in there. It doesn't come with servos. Uh, I've also taken off the landing gear so it can be a belly lander uh, and it'll, it'll be uh, more of a, a good FPV plane uh, and belly lander in my rough landing strip. It'll be more useful for my flying situation. But yeah, the Speedy B F405 wing board, it's, a, it's an excellent, really cheap and highly featured board. I've actually put it all together here already. So I can use it just to replace the stabilizer on the board. I didn't really like the stabilizer that came with the, or the gyro unit that came with the blazer. Uh, with uh, a proper INAV flight control board, I can have full control over the, the leveling and the aggressiveness of the stabilization, all of that sort of stuff. With the added benefit of having uh, return to home if you use a GPS uh, and on-screen display through the FPV camera if you choose to add those things. You don't have to, of course. You can just set it up as a, as a really highly configurable stabilizer if you want. And the Speedy B F405 Wing Mini, I might use that uh, to make a roll axis stabilized, servo stabilized gimbal. Uh, for a camera to mount on top of the plane. So that's just a fun little project. Uh, a nice inexpensive board and uh, easy little build. As you can see, I've got the sporty wing on now. And if we look inside, I have removed the gyro. And I need to mount the flight control board in here somewhere. What I'm going to do is just glue in a little shelf across the top of the servos. Uh, ideally, I would make that removable. Flight control board goes that way, but I can mount it that way if I want to. So that the uh, power cables are going forward. And that will just sit down about there like that. Uh, nice and easy to access. So I built a little bridge with 6mm core plast across there. Uh, and double sided tape on the bottom of the Speedy B. I'm mounting it uh, with the arrow pointing back. It's just easier to... Uh, route the power cables forward then rather than having to go around and back just have to remember to tell INAV that the board is flipped uh, 180 degrees in your otherwise you'll be in trouble so that's all fitting in nicely nice and secure I would uh, like to 3D print up uh, a proper ledge that I can remove so that I can get access to the servos uh, but I'll do that later on once we get this working there's my little USB I could even tape that outside for access without removing the wing we'll see about that but uh, anyway we can start plugging things in and programming it up starting off with the throttle now usually I would remove the red wire from the throttle cable so that we're not feeding in 5 volts from the onboard BEC into the board because we don't need it. But what I've done is removed the pins on the motor connections there. Uh, so that is S1 I'll plop this into. Of course we only have one motor on this one, we only need S1. Push those wires out of the way. Then we have rudder and elevator, luckily. <laughs> These are all labelled. Thank you very much, Top RC. That's very good of you. Elevator into S3. Ailerons will go into S4 and S5. Rudder goes into S6. So I've plugged in an Express LRS receiver there. And remember, we've got the board uh, pointing the wrong way. And you can see this in the diagram here. When I lift the tail up, the nose goes up or the tail goes down. When I roll to the right, the diagram rolls to the left. So one of the first things we need to do is uh, go to the alignment tool. Tell INAV that the yaw is 180 degrees. I have 
upgraded this to iNav 7.1.2. It comes with iNav 6.1. Uh, so it's a really good idea to upgrade it and I've done the calibration so now lifting the tail up rolling to the right so that's all going in the correct direction now so we are good to proceed. So now I'm checking the direction of throws once I've plugged that in and ailerons are good but I did have to reverse servo 3 to get them working in the correct direction. Elevator's good and rudder's good so all the servos are going in the correct direction. To do that, of course, I had to plug a battery in and power up the board because the USB doesn't power the uh, servos. And I could have done all that on the SpeedyB app, of course, but uh, it's easier just to do it on the computer, I think. Nice day for a fly. Let's try the SpeedyB F405 wing on the sporty wing version of the Blazer. Nice takeoff. It's flying really, really nicely. Beautiful. Lots of control. A big aileron throws. Angle mode. Going pretty well. Back to acro. This is beautiful, really smooth. Cruise mode. Turn to launch. Yeah, we're all going well, all right. Do have my motor brake on. Hopefully that's going to break the, ah, oh, yeah. Breakaway elevator. Oh, that might be interesting. Up and away. Ah, oh, look at that prop, that looks good. Current, five amps, okay. That's all I need to know, we're good to go. Ooh, that big prop is <laughs> in the view a fair bit. But, cruising nicely. Yep, this is all working well. Got 4S, cruising at uh, 5 amps or so. Feels very nice. Nice and smooth. gliding back. Yeah, it's going nicely. Six amps or so to climb. No dramas at all. So this is well suited to 4S lithium iron. Cruise mode, cruise current, five amps or so. It seems to be perfect. Flying at 51, 52 kilometers an hour. Delightful. Good roll rate. A bit more docile on the elevator. But this is looking like a good combo for a more conventional sort of um, scale look FPV plane. Has the right sort of performance for a uh, reasonable long range, apart from the limited battery space, but we can uh, carve that out a bit more. Big 12 inch prop is uh, a unique view <laughs> looking out through it, more realistic I suppose but very enjoyable to fly. Nice and acrobatic roll wise on uh, with this wing. Efficient. 
fun to fly. And the uh, Speedy B wing mini board is doing exactly what it should. All very good. I think I'll uh, glue the elevator in just to make sure it's not going to pop off every time I land in this rough grass, but the belly lander aspect of um, uh, this configuration is much more useful for uh, my sort of flying. Uh, it's going really well. Excellent. I like this plane a lot. It's very good. Very good for FPV, normal park flying, on landing gear, very versatile. Two wing sets and yeah, the Speedy B wing, just a nice little flying uh, flight control board. See if we can land it without pulling the elevator off. Not too sure what the wind direction is, but anyway. Flare. It's a bit more gentle. Excellent. Yeah, that's good. So there we go, the Speedy B F405 Wing Mini flight control board on the Blazer, Top RC Blazer. A really nice combination, especially with the sporty wing. Uh, I'll have to try it again with the trainer wing to see how uh, much more cruisy it is. But yeah, I like the combination. Very nice. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.